Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, the minister is going to read a brief statement, and then he'll follow up with questions. Good afternoon. All Canadians have the right to peaceful protest and the right to free speech. I have seen select clips of the protest in Red there on Sunday, and I am admittedly disturbed. This right, our fundamental right, as Minister of Justice, I have been publicly clear about this. Violence and threats of violence at peaceful protests are unacceptable, period. All our burdens, regardless of race, religion, or creed, have the right to live their lives peacefully. And I denounce any in instance of bigotry and intolerance. And I have said that I would not tolerate this as our Justice Minister and Solicitor General. I have seen, again, violence and threats of violence are completely unacceptable. Disagreeing does not entitle one to use violence. We can and should disagree with, on public policy and discuss issues without resorting to violence. The RCMP is responsible for policing in Red Deer. In this case, they are actually contracted to the city of Red Deer directly. I have spoken to RCMP Deputy Commissioner Kotitz Zabloki and reiterated the need to get to the bottom of this. Based on that conversation, Deputy Zabloki informed me that criminal investigation has been opened. I also understand that the RCMP will be speaking to media later this afternoon. I've also spoken with Mayor Teravia of Red Deer about this incident and the impact on their community. And I have assured my department support. I do want to thank Mayor Vier for his leadership. Now, I, I know that there are some who are demanding that the government charge individuals at this protest. It is important that we remind ourselves that elected officials do not direct police charges. It would be completely unacceptable for the Minister of Justice to order the RCMP to arrest an individual and press charges. As I have said, I have asked Deputy Commissioner Zabloki about this incident and will ask for a full explanation of Sunday's events in Red Deer. My staff have also reached out to Keisha Daniels, the organizer of the event in Red Deer. And I hope to be speaking with her in the near future to better understand what happened. Police have a difficult job of keeping the peace. But it is also critically important that the RCMP maintain public confidence by explaining their role in situations like this. Our province, Alberta, is a tolerant, open society where we respect our neighbors even if we strongly disagree. I am confident that Albertans overwhelmingly reject the behavior seen this past Sunday. Thank you. With that, I'm happy to take questions. Thank you, Minister. Operator, please put through the first caller. First question is Rochelle El Suits with City News. Go ahead, Rochelle. Hi, Minister. Um, what do you have to say about the criticism against RCMP for not doing enough to keep the peace and allowing for peaceful assembly. Many are saying that RCMP did nothing. Also, I want to thank you for calling this press conference, but I'm, I'm wondering why we haven't heard from the Premier himself condemning hate groups and their violent acts. So uh, I, I am going to begin with your latter question as to why we haven't heard from the Premier. As you know, I am the Justice Minister uh, who is responsible for this. And I am part of uh, th this government and have the responsibility to respond on behalf of this government. And I am sure that the Premier absolutely uh, condemns uh, this event. 
uh, the Premier at various times have made it clear that violence or racism or discriminatory practices against citizens are not to be accepted under any circumstances. To your first question, as I said in my remarks, I talked to the RCMP chief, deputy chief, and what he said to me was that this protest was originally planned at the Red Deer City Hall, and that it was then moved to a new location. And by the time they got to the new location, this uh, incident had already taken place. And they were there to ensure that the remainder of the protests were peaceful. I think that is the explanation that I received from the RCMP, and I have no reason to doubt that. Is there a follow-up? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, I was on mute. Um, do you think RCMP did their job? Well, I mean, like I said, they were on ground at the initial venue for the event to ensure that the, the protest was peaceful. Last minute, I understand that the venue was moved without their knowledge. It was not until they became aware of the, the violence that they then went to the new location and, uh, and ensured that the remainder of the protests were peaceful. I have faith and confidence in the ability of the RCMP uh, to deal with matters like this. And the chief have assured me that criminal assault investigation is underway. But I think it's important, again, that we remind ourselves that we, are, we would have to let RCMP follow their process you know, to get to the bottom of this. Thank you. Please put through the next caller. Next is Michelle Belfontaine with CBC. Go ahead, Michelle. Oh, hi, Minister. Um, I wanted to ask you about something a little bit different about your letter to Bill Blair about Claire's Law. Um, why did you Why did you send that to Mr. Blair, or Minister Blair? The, and thank you, Michelle, uh, for your question. The primary reason why I sent this letter was to uh, make sure that uh, the Minister Blair and RCMP uh, know that we expect that uh, laws duly passed by our province, especially one that tackles an important issue as domestic violence, uh, should and would have to be respected and enforced. You know, we heard uh, from Saskatchewan that there were some confusion as to whether or not our CMP was going to enforce that particular law. And I want to reiterate that uh, domestic violence and the threat it poses to our citizens uh, are one that all of us at the provincial and the federal level uh, should agree on that if there's anything we can do to prevent domestic violence within the ambit of the law, then in my view, you know, we should be doing everything we can to enforce that law. Thank you. Um, as a, as a, oh, as a follow-up, Minister, um, have you had a sense from our CMP here that they wouldn't enforce Claire's law? Well, I have not had um, the, any discussion with our CMP uh, on this particular issue. But as you know, our CMP is uh, centrally administered by the federal government. And if the one in Saskatchewan is telling us that, uh, or if we're getting the feeling from Saskatchewan that they are reluctant in enforcing that particular law, I think it was important for me to step in as quickly as I can to have a conversation with the public safety minister. Thank you. Please put through the final question. That final question is Tyler Dawson with the National Post. Go ahead, Tyler. Hey, thanks for holding this press conference, Minister. Um, I wanted to ask about uh, the Red Deer Mayor's statement where it says that uh, Red Deer sort of condemns traveling protests um, inciting, you know, division in the community. Do you have any idea what, what that is referring to? Like, who, who are these traveling protesters the mayor alludes to? My understanding at this point in time is that these protests have been organized in, in several cities in our province, and that you know, it is not uh, limited to Red there, and that they have, uh, they have had similar protests in other cities, and future ones are also planned. Uh, that may be what Mayor Via is referring to, meaning that this, this, what happened in Red there and the people behind it are not necessarily 
uh, uh, all from right there that this is a planned protest. And I have said, you know, publicly that our citizens and Albertans have the right to peaceful protest. And as a government and as Minister of Justice, you can be rest assured that I would continue to ensure that remains the case. And any time we have incident like this, my hope is that we get to the bottom of it. But more importantly, that before peaceful protests uh, like the one that took place in Red there becomes violent, that we have the tools you know, to prevent that from happening. And that is why um, you can't imagine how uh, regrettable it is for me to witness that a peaceful protest that was supposed to take place in Red there turned out to be violent. And uh, to all Albertans, uh, my simple message is this. Us is a tolerant uh, society that is built on diversity of views and, opinion, I mean, and opinions. And I hope that that continues to be the case. And as Justice Minister, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that that remains the case. Thank you, Minister. We're done. Thank you.